yet is only a few minutes from Milan. It is a truly multidisciplinary university, offering degree courses in all fields of student. One thing never changes, a communication of knowledge led by people. Here, the wisdom of the arts meets cutting-edge technological studies, the medicine of tomorrow with legal and social studies. Students can benefit too from a system of student residences unique in Italy. There is no teaching without research. This is evident in every lecture hall in the university. Our research, being of the highest quality, builds on a centuries-old tradition, but is part of an international network working towards the future. Our teaching methods call every student by name. Technology is used to allow for the best possible study, but the human touch is always present. The University of Pavia is a city campus. Students are welcomed into a friendly atmosphere, full of culture which enriches student life. Here, everything is close. Classes, labs, spaces for sport and leisure. Graduates of the university find work quickly and easily. The University of Pavia is constantly changing but continues to believe that there are always new paths to explore and new life-changing discoveries to be made. It starts with you. Welcome everybody to this webinar that you just saw a nice introduction from Pavia and how it is to study there. And it might be you next year, who knows? And uh, yeah, this, pro this webinar is about the foundation year in Italy and to build your future and learn Italian as well at the University of Pavia. Before we go over to a great lineup of speakers we have, um, I'd like to briefly introduce to you this uh, webinar on how we, you can interact with us. My name is Luke Mulling, and uh, you have different ways to interact. First of all, I already saw a couple of people saying hi, where they're from in the chat. So please do so, tell us where you're logging in from and uh, just for us to see uh, yeah, all the countries and people that are um, joining in today. Uh, most importantly, however, the questions that you may have, you can write them at any time through the panel called questions at the right bottom. For people um, that are joining live, you can uh, we can answer them live later on. However, for the people that watch the recording, we will be sending the questions through to the staff of the University of Maria. What else do we have? We will open up some polling questions already in one question is there um, to know which field of study you're interested in. So go ahead and already let us know as well. And uh, yeah, that way we can learn a bit more about you as well. And we'll open up some more polling questions later. Another last fun fact, uh, fun factor I should say, is a react button at the bottom of the screen. There's a react button. If you click on it, you can give us uh, some reaction. So let us know if you like something, for example. Yeah, for example, the thumbs up. We like to get those. So let us know. And um, yeah, we like to interact with you as much ways as possible. But without further ado, let's go over to the University of Pavia, where, as mentioned, we have a great lineup of people. And uh, I will, first of all, have you um, be introduced by the um, yeah, staff members. Uh, first of all, to Elena. And Elena, she will introduce herself and all the students and staff there with you. Go ahead. Thank you so much, Luke, for, uh, for passing the word. Uh, I'm Elena Fontana. I'm the head of the marketing and recruitment team of the University of Pavia. And I'm very glad to be here to present our foundation year program with this wonderful uh, students. Uh, coming from uh, from all over the world, will then have their say. 
uh, students of the foundation year program. Uh, so let's uh, start with the presentation. Um, Look, can you open it? Great. Okay. Um, so uh, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Let me see if we can go ahead. Yeah, great. So um, let's start with saying where we are and who we are. <laughs> So the University of Pavia is located in, uh, in uh, Italy, in Pavia, um, which is a town uh, in, uh, in Lombardy, uh, in the north of Italy, as you can see from the map, uh, very, very close to, to Milan. It only takes uh, 30 minutes uh, to, to, to reach um, the capital of Lombardy. Um, as far as Pavia is concerned, uh, it's a very small town uh, where the university is the main, uh, um, uh, the main enterprise, let's say, uh, a lively town uh, and uh, small town with only 70,000 inhabitants uh, and a population uh, of, uh, um, okay, it doesn't work again. Why? Okay. And a population of uh, um, 24,000 students. And where, where is uh, so Pavia? Pavia um, is, uh, is located in a, in, a, in a very vibrant area. Uh, and uh, you can see the first uh, picture uh, on, on the left. Uh, it, it is uh, located on a, on a river. Uh, and the, the bridge you can see there is the main icon of the town. And I can enjoy the river banks having jogging, and we'll be able to move around the town uh, very easily, walking or, or riding a bike. But uh, um, students will also have the chance to enjoy the surrounding area, uh, where uh, um, you 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 will be surprised by by the hills. Uh, uh, and the other towns, uh, you, you will be able to, to, to join very, very easily. Um, uh, let's go back. Uh, okay. Uh, also, uh, Pavia, uh, students will be able to enjoy, to enjoy Italy. And the famous, uh, the famous small villages on, on the lake or uh, uh, at the seaside, um, uh, very, very fast by, by, by train. Um, so let's say something about uh, very, very briefly about the university. It's one of the oldest institutions uh, founded uh, in, uh, in Europe uh, in 1361. Um, with a population of about 26,000 students uh, and 7% of international students. You, you now here have uh, an example. Um, it is ranked according to the national uh, ranking uh, first among Italian uh, uh, universities uh, of this size. And um, it can also be defined, defined a European university, uh, being part of a big uh, alliance of seven European universities and issuing a joint uh, degrees. Um, let's, let's go to the program we are here to, uh, to, to present. What is the Foundation Year program? Uh, the Foundation Year program is an introductory and uh, um, preparatory course taught in Italian, um, which is designed um, for students who are interested in learning or improving Italian, um, or students who um, uh, miss the, the 12 years of schooling to assess the universities, and so students who are interested in uh, entering undergraduate degrees um, in an uh, Italian university. Um, what about the, the structure? So um, as you can see here from the, from the slides, very, very clear. Um, the first part of the course, which starts in October, um, 
uh, is uh, uh, is uh, um, uh, dedicated to um, the um, learning uh, Italian language with 450 hours of uh, uh, Italian language. Uh, and it is designed both for beginners to uh, to advanced um, uh, students. So it's not necessary uh, to uh, to have a knowledge of Italian to enter the course. Um, the course so ends in June, and the second part uh, of the course um, is uh, concerns um, studying in Italian different disciplines which are um, grouped uh, per, per area uh, so you have uh, disciplines in the humanities area and students who decide to select this area will be studying as you can see history of art and archaeology or italian literature um, and ancient and medieval history and philosophy in italia while students who decide to um, are interested in studying science and medicine will be studying biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics again in Italian. And the last area is for social sciences, which includes political science, contemporary history, economics, and law. This from January up to June. Um, uh, uh, classes. Uh, uh, will be held in, uh, in person, uh, so no online teaching will be offered. And I underline again from October uh, 16 uh, for the next edition until June 21st. What does passing the foundation year mean? Um, it means getting a B2 proficiency um, level in, uh, in Italian. It means uh, uh, getting exemption from the uh, Italian language admission test at the University of Pavia. Uh, it means uh, being ready <laughs> for um, the admission test uh, to enter a bachelor, a bachelor course. This thanks to the second part of the course, which includes preparation in, in different areas. And it also means uh, to get the chance to apply for a free tuition fee um, for students who decide to continue their path at the University of Pavia with a bachelor course at the University of Pavia. Um, so here you see uh, the list of uh, um, of courses uh, which are offered at the University of Pavia, which is a multidisciplinary university, and which are the um, <clears throat> and the path uh, designed for for students, with the students can can select after the foundation year. So we have courses in economics and management, or political and social sciences, sciences, law, humanities, communication, musicology as well or psychology, fields of engineering, medicine and surgery, uh, pharmacy, sports sciences, and also um, a bachelor uh, in artificial intelligence taught in English, and a full uh, um, single course uh, um, in uh, medicine, six year single course in medicine and surgery taught in English. So uh, students will have the chance to enter the university and attend, course, and attend courses in Italian or uh, in, in English as for artificial intelligence and medicine and surgery. How is this possible? So uh, what makes the foundation year uh, a success course? Obviously the staff of the team. Uh, with the director, Professor Vastelli, with the teaching coordinator, uh, Dr. For, Dr. Boltan, and with eight Italian language teachers and 30 um, professors uh, teaching in the um, area of study, in one of the three areas of study which have been introduced before. But also, um, tutoring is <laughs> uh, another part of the success of this course. 
uh, we have here one of the three tutors uh, you see in the pictures, uh, Georgia. Uh, what, what, uh, um, what is their main uh, aim is to um, help students uh, with uh, bureaucracy, uh, with administrative uh, matters, uh, so supporting uh, uh, the, the students in the integration process in, uh, in Italy and assisting the students uh, every time they, they need uh, by video call, by email, by, by WhatsApp. So uh, a very um, key element of, uh, uh, of the program. Uh, so accommodation uh, will be uh, um, will be uh, offered to, to students and assistance will be offered to students in finding accommodation via our tutors as well. Uh, students uh, uh, will be able to uh, apply for accommodation in uh, university residences uh, in the town or in uh, private flats. Uh, but also, um, thanks again to, to the help of our tutors, students will uh, uh, assess the, the main university's facilities, so they will be able to get a bus card, uh, to travel around the town, uh, to enter the university canteen, they will be um, helped in opening a bank account, in assessing the libraries or the sports center and also our individual counseling uh, uh, unit. Um, let's, let's go to uh, the cost, uh, the living cost uh, in, uh, in Pavia. Let's first say that uh, living in Pavia is for sure cheaper uh, than living in a bigger town uh, as for instance uh, um, is Milan. Um, so here you can see an average uh, uh, of what are the costs of living in Papilla. Um, finding accommodation is for sure no more uh, than um, 650 euro per, per month. Uh, it can be also less sharing a, a flat with other, uh, with other students. Uh, and food, for sure, is another cost. Uh, you know, Italy is famous uh, for, for Italian food, uh, and students will for sure have uh, a part of their budget uh, when going out and having a pizza in a, in a restaurant with their friends, for instance. Uh, and, and social life is another um, part of, of the cost uh, for, for students. Uh, as for uh, the cost of our foundation year program, it, it is uh, set in uh, um, for 5,000 euro uh, and it includes the full course, uh, so the first and the second part, but also uh, third liability insurance, uh, the tutoring offered by, by our staff and the access to all the university uh, facilities but also uh, the chance to um, apply for a final um, test uh, in Italia, uh, which will give the students the chance to get uh, uh, an international certificate of Italian language called um, SEALS. Um, for students who want to skip uh, the first part of the course and only attend the course from February to June, provided they hold an advanced and certified competence of Italian language, the cost of the foundation year program is 4,000 euro. Um, and it includes uh, the same, <coughs> sorry, it includes the same uh, structure and, uh, and uh, services of uh, uh, the, the full course. Uh, what are the uh, admission requirements? Um, let's stress that uh, no Italian language certificate is required, so students can attend the program uh, even if they are um, approaching the, 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 the Italian language for the first time. Um, but uh, they must be 18 uh, years old by the 30th of June uh, 
2024, and uh, they must uh, possess uh, um, a number of uh, 11 years of schooling. Uh, so here you see the list of the documents uh, you need to uh, apply. So a, a high school diploma and uh, a translation. If you are attending now uh, the school, don't uh, don't uh, uh, panic. Uh, this diploma can be uh, submitted uh, at the latest by September 15. Uh, we also need uh, a transcript of records of the last year of schooling and a translation and a declaration of value of your um, of your high school diploma certificate and the legalization uh, this by October 31st and the copy of your passport. Uh, application is a very easy and fast process. Uh, you will have to register here and you see uh, the, the website uh, and just wait uh, uh, about four weeks to get the, the, the results uh, and in case of positive application, uh, the acceptance letter, uh, which uh, allows you to uh, start your um, visa, your visa process to the embassy. Uh, so here you see uh, applications are possible until uh, the 31st of July, but uh, the last intake, so from uh, the 18th of July uh, to the 31st of July, will open only in case of available places. So I will invite the students to apply as soon as they can because um, we are getting a lot of uh, applications and uh, it could be that uh, we will uh, decide to close uh, the application on uh, June 8th. So, as I said, the results of your application will be <clears throat> uh, emailed within four weeks. How to get in touch with us? Uh, for sure, uh, you can uh, email or um, just arrange a, a virtual video meeting uh, with us uh, and Georgia and uh, uh, the other staff will be, will be uh, happy to uh, to answer you um, you can also get in chat with our um, students ambassadors uh, via the, the, the chat uh, which is uh, available uh, on the, the website of the foundation young program um, look if you now agree i will pass the word on to our students ambassadors uh, lively here um, and make some questions to them just to <clears throat> make them sharing uh, their experience the experience of being a, a foundation year student uh, program uh, at the moment <laughs> in uh, in uh, Pavia. So, look, uh, if you agree, I will uh, uh, ask uh, uh, to, to Irina. Uh, hi, Irina. Uh, so, I mean, tell us something about you, just uh, where you come from, and uh, uh, what do you like uh, most about uh, uh, Pavia, the town of Pavia or, or Italy? Um. Yeah, we, we see you and we hear you. Uh, hi to everyone, I'm Marina, I'm from Russia. Um, hi everyone, I'm Marina, I'm from Russia. Uh, so the best thing that I love about Pavia is how international the city is, because uh, everyone came here from different parts of the world, and uh, it's always interesting to get to know each other's culture. Uh, second of all, I love the central square of the year, uh, especially in the evenings when it's filled with bars and restaurants, when you, you can go and hang out with your friends. Uh, but my favorite place would be the library called Santa Marta, uh, where you can book your plane, you can book your seat and go study there. 
including the weekend, so this is why it's my favorite one. Okay, I think we just lost the connection with the University of Pavia. We'll be checking that out and hopefully right back. Please bear with us a minute um, as we have various questions from the audience and we will um, start answering those as well. But we just were hearing more from the students from the University of Pavia and let's see if they can connect back. All right, I think they are coming, so we'll be right back. I think briefly lost the connection, and there they are again. So good, please continue. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Can you can you hear as well? Yes, all is fine. Please go ahead. Okay, so let's go quickly ahead. Um, so uh, Maya, uh, Maya, Maya, would you would you say as what did you expect? How did you imagine at the University of Pavia to be? before you arrived? Yes, so uh, my name is Maya, I'm from America. Um, before I got here, I was sort of expecting the course to be held in a more formal and rigid way, like a lot of universities in the United States. Um, but when I got here, I was pleased to see that in class, the teachers were very interactive and were able to explain things in a way that they knew that we would understand and they would help us with any of our needs. Um, and we are able to get a lot of information even in like a more fun way um, so that it helps the information retain in a better way so it's not just lectures and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And uh, yeah, where are you? Okay. Uh, how are lessons carried out? Would you, would you share this with our audience? My name is Julia, I'm from Honduras. Um, as Maya stated previously, the lessons are quite interactive. Our teacher's main goal is to help us reach a B2 level of language proficiency. We cover topics from healthcare to TV shows. And in between all the academic uh, events, there's always time for fun and play which help us communicate in Italian way better than in just like an academic setting. There's like this conversation going on between us and our teachers. Okay, and, and Luna, uh, how would you introduce the foundation here to a friend of yours? Uh, I'm Luna, I'm from Jordan, and a way that I would introduce this foundation year in a couple of words is welcoming and accommodating. Wow. Um, I've applied to so many other universities and courses that are quite similar to this one, but what made me choose this university specifically is that the welcoming team, the staff, the tutors, everybody that handles your application from the beginning until the first day that you step into the university, you feel so taken care of, you feel welcome. And that's what a lot of people are searching for when they travel internationally. And the Italian classes, trust me, no matter what level you are, they always have a way to teach you in a way that makes the most sense for your level. And that's why I would recommend it, honestly. Wow, so thank you for these words. Uh, and uh, Luna, um, what difficulties did you encounter? Let's, let's talk about this as well. So as for difficulties, there were two main difficulties, uh, one being more physical, one being mental. Um, the first one is definitely accommodation. Um, it was a lot of trouble because um, I looked quite late for my accommodation. My biggest advice about that is please start looking early. Um, the tutors, the welcome staff will always help you find accommodation, especially if you're early. There is such a huge student network of people who are constantly sharing, you know, free housing, like, you know, all different offers for whatever your budget may be. And the second biggest problem was personally for me, I had quite a mental block when it came to speaking, um, especially in Italian, you know, learning uh, to communicate in a language just really tends to psych you out. And honestly, 
this type of course is perfect for that because you always get a chance to speak in your classes. You always are heard. And the social aspect, when you get to know new people and socialize, you really get out of your own shell, which really helps you. So we, we appreciate you are very satisfied with, with this choice. And uh, Riyadh, let's go. Um, oh, we can now see you. Um, how do you imagine your future after the foundation year? Um, so, hey, my name is Riyadh. I'm from Syria. Uh, and next year, I'm planning to study medicine here in uh, Fabia. Uh, so, yeah, before I came, I was actually worried about the medicine exam and worried about the uh, area studies and everything. But now, after we started the uh, area studies, I feel that I'm going to pass the exam and it's going to be easier because the level of the area studies is very high. And another reason why I'm staying here actually is that my little brother is coming here too. Yeah, I like it so much that my brother is coming and he's going to do the same path as me. Yeah, that's it. So we, we are having another student for, uh, yes. for next year. And my younger brother. Uh, Good to know. And Lynn, uh, would you share how helpful was the foundation year for you? Because you are now enrolled in a degree course, so you you have completed the path and can share if uh, and how <laughs> the foundation year was helpful for you to to enroll uh, attending your degree course. Hi guys, my name is Lynn. I'm Jordanian. And I'm actually Luna's bigger sister, so uh, yeah, we have a team of uh, siblings here. Um, I was a previous student here, I finished last year, and it was really helpful, not just in terms of entering university, but also mentally preparing me for it as well, because it kind of mimics uh, how it's going to be. And not only that, but obviously, as Ms. Elena said, um, there are two sections. You have your Italian and then you have your area studies. And both of them were helpful to me actually attending all of my classes in Italian and following them and not having gaps of knowledge even to you know my Italian peers, uh, which have 13 years of schooling, mind you. So it kind of fit, I, I understand everything, even you know, fluency-wise. I was really impressed. I didn't actually think I would make it, but guess what? I did. So all of you guys will make it too. It's a wonderful program and wonderful staff that will cheer you on and like keep you going. So as the motto says, the foundation year was your real gateway oh, to yeah. Italian University. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, uh, and so Luna, what? Uh, would you like to say to future students? Okay, so there again are two main things that I'd say to any student that's uh, wanting to study abroad in general. These are just really great pieces of advice that I've taken from my older sister and many other people that were studying at this university. The first thing is that you need to be ready, uh, you need to dedicate your time and effort because to get to where you want to be in the language, you will have to pull your weight. Um, thank God you have so many resources here. The staff is so helpful, but you will have to have a certain, you know, dedication, a certain motivation to get through with it because, you know, let's be realistic. And the second thing is always be yourself. There's always such a pressure to change when you're moving into a new place and, you know, trying to fit in and everything like that. But I'll tell you, there is something for everyone here. There's so many different activities. There's sports. There's music. You just get to express yourself in a way that you never got to before. This is a chance for you to be more yourself than you ever were rather than trying to hide it away. Maria, did you have also fun while studying here? Yes. Would, um, you, would you share with us a fun you have Yes. Yeah, so uh, along with the classes being serious and getting you ready for everything that you need to, um, we also like to have a lot of fun. Um, one day in class, we had to do a presentation. And while presentations don't seem great, um, we found a way to turn it around uh, by learning traditional dances from each other's countries, um, trying traditional foods that were brought in. Um, I got the opportunity to try some Russian desserts, um, some Ukrainian desserts, 
um, and learn some uh, Kazakhstan dances. So uh, it was very, very interesting for me uh, to learn about everybody's cultures, but it was a lot of fun for all of us to be able to do that together. So, uh, look, that's all from our part. I I think it was uh, uh, so. It, it was it was interesting for for our audience to to also have our students say. Uh, we are now ready to get their questions. Yes, indeed, great. Well, we already received quite a lot of questions, so we're going through them. And uh, we already get some nice feedback as well. <clears throat> also thanking the students for their great input. So oh. I think that is good to see. So hopefully all of the people that join in, and I see people joining from different countries. It's great to see. It is useful to you. Just to remind the people that are watching the recording, you can still write your questions also. And uh, we cannot answer them now live, of course, but we will send them through to the staff of the University of Papua. All right, let's get started with the questions from the live audience. Uh, Jasmine is asking, is there a campus for accommodation? I didn't catch. Is there a campus for accommodation? Okay. Uh, yes, there is. Actually, um, we have a lot of student residences, but we must say, uh, honestly, that the places are limited, so the sooner you apply, the better it is. But uh, um, you will be able to apply uh, and ask for accommodation, and our tutor will do their best uh, to pass this on to our accommodation office staff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hope that was useful for Jasmine and anyone who wondered about accommodation. Grigory is asking Is there a high chance of enrolling if I don't have an Italian language? Certificate. As Elena said before, there is no need to have an Italian certificate as we offer classes from beginners to advanced. Some of them, like Riyadh or Maya, didn't speak at all Italian and they are doing really great. So, as you can see, we have a few examples of success. Yeah, like actually, I didn't speak Italian at all. And that's because they don't speak okay? Yeah, I didn't speak Italian at all when I came. Like at all. And I was worried about the area studies because they told me that it's going to be Italian. But now it's so easy. I understand the Italian language, like as I was born here. So, yeah, it's really helpful. Yeah, um, for me, I also did not know Italian. Um, I only knew ciao, of course, um, <laughs> and how to order a Coke with ice. Um, that's about the extent of my knowledge that I knew before I started this course, but I have been fine. Um, I've been doing good and I've learned a lot, a lot. Uh, you just have to apply yourself and work for it and you'll be able to be just as good as everybody else. Perfect. Well, thank you all for your input. I hope that uh, is a good answer for Gregory as well and any other one that wondered about Italian language requirements. So um, next question, Ilmiar, what are the fees like as a non-EU international student? Okay, um, so the question is not so clear. Is it referred to um, the fees for, uh, I guess, for uh, the bachelor course in uh, um, at the university? So if this is the question, so um, we have defined different rates according to uh, the uh, nationality. Uh, so this rates from uh, uh, 14, uh, for, from four, 400 euro up to um, up to 3,000 euro. It, it depends on the area of study and on, on the country you come from. Uh, we are ready to give details about this. So just please make the same question to us uh, via email, and we will. Uh, uh, be more precise. Okay. Thank you. I did get an addition um, that the person who asked is from the UK. Yeah. Uh, 
UK is considered a non-EU country as well. Uh, so let me let me check. I I I I need the time. We we are checking right now uh, on the list and our answer is here. It is. I found it. Uh, so it is uh, three thousand and five hundred euros if you select um, a bachelor course in the areas of in the area of humanities, or four thousand and five hundred euros for the sciences area. That is the answer. Okay. Thank you. Next question. Well, before we go to the next question, I just want to make sure for everybody that you um, participated in the poll. Um, we had three poll questions opened up, and I see many of you have already answered. So thank you for the poll questions. And if you haven't yet, please let us know in the poll as well to know your feedback. And next question for Mohamed. Um, I think this question about the course, the preparatory course, the cost of the foundation year. I guess that was uh, already taken care of, but um, do you want to maybe reconfirm that? Well, for the foundation year, you have to pay in three different installments. Each one has a different deadline. The first one is uh, 10 days within the you receive the acceptance letter. And the other one, one is uh, by the end of July, and the last one by the end of August. But uh, to have uh, more information, please contact us by email so you don't get confused. Or visit the website, there exactly. is a specific uh, section. Uh, On foundation year. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So here you see the contact details on the screen telephone, email, even virtual meetings can be requested. I see. So hopefully um, that is useful. And we go over to the next question. Um, so the question from Mohamed on the preparation year is answered, and also that you can pay in installments. Uh, Jan Hongir is asking, can I apply for economics master degree, uh, having a bachelor degree in politics? So this for is sure. a question about the masters. Yeah. yeah, for sure you can, if you already have a bachelor degree in economics. Applications are, are open now. Uh, now, so uh, it means that you can attend the uh, foundation year course to get a good knowledge of Italian, and uh, at the end of uh, uh, your part, uh, apply for uh, your master's degree in economics as well, yeah. Great, thank you. We're, I saw a th thumbs up, so I guess that's answering the question for him. Thank you. Uh, Anastasia is asking, are there any discounts for students from the Ukraine? We have two full exemptions for protection holder status holder students, but uh, it's better to contact us uh, by email to have more precise information with the requirements and documents necessary. The email is returned to us. Uh, I will write on the chat also the email. Thank you, Georgia. I see you already put the link as well to the foundation here in the chat, so you can find it there as well. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Meanwhile, uh, we go over to the next question from uh, Mohamed. Um, let's see, are programs available in English? Programs are available in English, uh, uh, as we, we shared, uh, for the bachelor level, in artificial intelligence and medicine and surgery. Uh, for the master level, we have more than 20 master's degree taught in English in uh, all uh, the disciplines. So uh, you have a big choice. <laughs> Great, thank you. Good to hear. Meanwhile, there is the contact email as well in the chat, so in case you want to reach out. Um, also regarding specific costs, so I see another question about this from Natasha, um, how much the fees for Sri Lankan, uh, Sri Lankan students. Now, maybe there, all of you wonder about your own country. I don't know, we should go through all of these, but um, if you want to answer that, we can do that. Otherwise, 
Um, I yeah. guess they can go to the site and uh, find out more information. Yeah, that's right. yeah. so let's, let's uh, um, I, I would like to stress that the cost for the foundation year is the same for all the students all over the world. So it's 5,000 euro uh, for the full course uh, or uh, 4,000 euro for the second part of the course. As for the uh, university tuition fees, so for access to a bachelor of master degree, the rates are different according to the nationality. So in case of Sri Lanka, uh, it, it is 400 euro per year. Great. I guess that is good news. And hearing that, thank you. Uh, Evelyn is asking, are there any STEM programs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the question is not clear, but if she's talking about uh, the, the study area of STEM in the foundation year, yeah, we have uh, an area for sciences uh, so she can approach uh, STEM areas starting the foundation year. Uh, and uh, we have courses in uh, uh, chemistry, uh, biology, microbiology, uh, medicine, engineering. So all the STEM are um, present in, uh, in, in the university. So a big choice again. Good. Okay, thank you very much. And again, thumbs up again. Um, so far, those were the questions I've received. Um, so we still have some minutes left. If you have any questions, this is your moment. As you see, we have a lot of people, um, as the staff, but also students joining in. So also, if you have any questions for them, feel free to direct it uh, here now, because this is the moment that they are available for you. Okay, um, and I said that I put the link on the screen just before how to apply. I will also put it in the chat right now. So you can also find the portal for from the University of Pavia on how to apply. Um, I believe that is for pretty much all programs. So not only the foundation, but also for the bachelor and masters. And having said that, I don't think there are any further questions at this stage. Um, don't forget to let us know the feedback from the poll. There's one more poll question coming up. Um, but let me see in the chat if there's any further questions. No, it seems all is clear. Yeah, anyway, look, if they have any further questions, they can for sure contact us or also chat with our students ambassadors. Uh, from the website, there is a bubble, chat with our students and they, they can uh, make their question uh, easily uh, that way. We did just get another question in. Um, actually, I see two. Um, question from Elmiar. A question for students, and I guess we can, I'll ask them, but how is Pavia student life? Well, maybe one or two of you can answer this a little bit. Who is willing to answer? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, student life is arguably my favorite part of Pavia. <laughs> um, because when, you know, when classes, you know, get tough, uni life starts getting serious. The thing that like makes my day the most is just to go out and get coffee with friends or go to the bar, hang out on the weekend. There's so much to do. And Milan is like a 20, 30 minute train away. We go like, every weekend. Um, it's actually really cheap to get to Milan and we're out all the time. Um, trust me, being in being in uni will not stop you from having fun. You get to discover who you are and you get to meet people who are in the same situation. And so you really have a deep connection and a very deep bond with other people because you're in a situation together where this is your first time studying abroad internationally. So trust me, the student might think it's really hard. Would you say how about this also because I know that you have a good experience to share. Yes, actually I am uh, now a football player and I played in other countries. But uh, here in Pavia I joined the most perfect team for me. Like the people I play with and the coach and everyone who I play with are perfect. And I'm having really a lot of fun. 
And uh, I think everyone who's interested in sports, it's very easy to find it here because everyone is so helpful. So yeah, uh, I think the part that I love about Pavia is playing football here. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's I think very useful. I saw a different thumbs coming up and uh, people liking the uh, activity. So that's great to see. Um, we got more two more questions in. Uh, Gregory is asking, how do I apply for accommodation? Okay. Once the university acceptance letter, we will contact you usually in June to send you all the information and useful links to start your accommodation searching. So. University doors, but also private accommodation, just to check uh, for how it is uh, the rental cost in, in, in Pavia and uh, to look uh, about the different part of the city and uh, so on. We will send you all the necessary information to help you to find the perfect accommodation for you. Perfect, great, thank you. Question from Mohamed, is it possible to study dentistry in English at the University of Pavia? Not yet, I would say. <laughs> no, uh, not at the moment. So the course is in Italian. But the foundation here can be the start because uh, you, you will get uh, the knowledge of Italian language and the preparation for the admission of test to enter um, dentistry. Okay, thank you. And those were the questions we've received so far. Um, so unless another question comes in, we can still take it. And otherwise, I assume everything is clear. Again, for people watching the recording, uh, you can also participate in all of the things. So the interactive app options, you can write questions, you can answer the polling, you can give your thumbs up as well, although we're not here to appreciate it. But if you feel like you can do it, and, uh, and interact with us. Um, having said that, we have recorded this session, so if you joined late, uh, just stay on and you can watch it right away from the beginning. Okay, we just got another question in. Let's take that one. Um, so Mohamed is asking about the preparatory year fees, if they can be paid after arriving in Italy. No, you have to pay the whole uh, amount, which is uh, 5,000 euros by the end of August. Uh, and uh, we accept payment uh, by credit card and debit card upon our uh, platform, and uh, you receive all the information uh, once you have all them. There is a reason why <laughs> we, we ask you to pay before, because we have a, a limited number of places for students, so we need the confirmation you are really willing to, to, join, to join us. So the payment gets the final confirmation you are selecting this course. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. And those were the questions. I believe now for real, uh, it seems to be the last question. Thanks a lot. And uh, with that, uh, we're slowly wrapping up the session. Um, yeah, uh, what I'd like to still say is, do, before you leave, do let us know the answer to the polls. I have one more poll question as promised to you, and that is to like to know how we did. And it's showing up right over my face right now. There, uh, let us know, give us a great, I yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the session. Let us know and give us your feedback. And otherwise, if you'd like to comment something else, you can do that in the chat. Um, and with that, thanks everyone for having joined from, yeah, I saw people from various countries joining in um, from all over Europe, but also elsewhere. So thank you. And also uh, last but not least to all the um, staff members that joined and the students. Thanks a lot for having uh, taken the time. Maybe a uh, last word over to you, Elena and staff. Wrap it up. I hope this uh, this uh, um, hour <laughs> was was helpful for for our audience. Uh, I'm personally grateful to these students for being with us. I think they were a, a real great set, 
for passing out the foundation year at the University of Pavia uh, can really be your, your gateway uh, to, the, to the university. And uh, let's say to, to all of to our audience, arrivederci a presto. Arrivederci a presto. Bye. The University of Pavia is one of the oldest universities in the world. Tucked away among a maze of medieval streets, the university looks out over the River Ticino. Yet it's only a few minutes from Milan. It is a truly multidisciplinary university, offering degree courses in all fields of study. We have new ways of imparting knowledge, new ways between lecturer and student. One thing never changes, a communication of knowledge led by people. Here, the wisdom of the arts meets cutting-edge technological studies, the medicine of tomorrow with legal and social studies. Students can benefit too from a system of student residences unique in Italy. There is no teaching without research. This is evident in every lecture hall in the university. Our research being of the highest quality, builds on a centuries-old tradition, but is part of an international network working towards the future. Our teaching methods call every student by name. Technology is used to allow for the best possible study, but the human touch is always present. The University of Pavia is a city campus. Students are welcomed into a friendly atmosphere, full of culture, which enriches student life. Here, everything is close. Classes, labs, spaces for sport and leisure. Graduates of the university find work quickly and easily. The University of Pavia is constantly changing but continues to believe that there are always new paths to explore and new life-changing discoveries to be made. It starts with you.